Welcome to our 2020 Murrumbidgee Primary Healthcare Awards. My name is Monica McInnes and I'm the Strategic Initiatives and Engagement Advisor here at MPHN. I will be your host for today's announcement of the finalists and winner of the Murrumbidgee Community Grant Award category, Community Grant of the Year Award category. Thank you for participating in our virtual presentation and announcement of the 2020 Murrumbidgee Primary Healthcare Award winners and finalists. This year saw a record number of applications despite the challenging times our industry and indeed the wider community has faced this year. It's a testament to the stoic and resilient nature of people living in regional and rural communities like ours. Thank you for making the time and putting in such effort to nominate for an award. Before we get to the official announcements, I would like to acknowledge and pay my respects to the traditional owners of the lands on which MPHN operates and on which we are meeting today. The Wiradjuri, Nari Nari, Wemba Wemba, Baraba Baraba and Yorta Yorta peoples. I pay my respects to Elders past, present and emerging and recognise these lands have always been places of traditional healing and medicine, and this plays a role in shaping future health services. I would also like to acknowledge any Aboriginal people who may be joining us today. One such person is Auntie Isabel Reid, who will now welcome us to country. Hi everyone, I'm Auntie Isabel Wiradjuri Elder, and it's my pleasure to be here to welcome you all to country. A welcome to country is so very important and also very necessary, as it demonstrates an ancient tradition to welcome visitors to our ancestral lands, which has been conducted over thousands of years to officially welcome people and to identify who we are and who you are. I would now like to acknowledge and pay my respects to the custodians of this land, the Radjuri peoples, whose land you are gathered on here today. I also wish to acknowledge our elders, past, present and future, for they hold the memories, their tradition and culture of all Aboriginal Australians. In recognition and respect for all Aboriginal people, our culture and heritage, it gives me so much pleasure to welcome you all here to the land of the Radji peoples. Thank you, Auntie Isabel, for that warm welcome. I now have a special message to share with you from the Deputy Prime Minister and Federal Member for Riverina, the Honourable Michael McCormack. He is also joined by Minister for Regional Health, Regional Communications and Local Government and Federal Member for Parks, the Honourable Mark Coulton. Well, welcome to the virtual Murrumbidgee Primary Healthcare Awards and so important to recognise and acknowledge the many people who've contributed so much during what has been a very challenging year. Droughts, floods, bushfires and of course COVID-19 has hit the regional communities that we represent very, very hard. But we're getting on with the job and like our frontline medical professionals and everybody associated with primary health, we're putting people first. Mark Colton joins me today. Mark is amongst many things, the Minister for Regional Health and I welcome him and acknowledge the work and the role that he has played, particularly this year in what I say again has been a very difficult year. We've had the GP-led respiratory clinics set up and established right throughout regional areas of Australia and that has made such a difference for COVID-19. Programs such as the Question, Persuade, Refer have helped mental health. There's many programs, there's many funding initiatives that are playing their part to lift the spirits and to raise the medical outcomes during this year and during all years. But essentially, you can't do it without the people who we've got in our regional areas as frontline primary health professionals and they are professionals they're putting themselves out they're going above and beyond and today we recognize we acknowledge and we thank them so well done to uh, all those nominated well done to all the recipients of awards and i say again thank you very much over to you mark look i'd like to acknowledge each and every person uh, that is in the health workforce uh, in the Murrumbidgee area. Uh, this year they've gone above and beyond. While tonight we're recognising uh, uh, some people, I think we should remember that everyone has done such a wonderful job in keeping us safe this year. 
Like Michael said, this year has been like no other and uh, the health sector has really been at the forefront of keeping us safe and you know, our record in regional Australia for managing the pandemic has been exceptional. Uh, the, the outbreaks we've had have been handled very, very well. And so uh, the Murrumbidgee area uh, is really coming to the fore as an area for health innovation and uh, you know, it's 20 years since the clinical school's been there uh, and uh, the, the work that's now going on with the Murrumbidgee model of innovative care and, uh, and some of the other innovative trials we're doing just uh, shows that that Murrumbidgee area uh, is, is really uh, leading the way. Uh, we all know that if people train uh, in the regions, uh, they come from the regions, they're more likely to want to practice in the regions. But tonight is all about rewarding excellence uh, in the, in the uh, delivery of health service. Uh, uh, I wish I was there. Uh, I think it's, uh, it's wonderful that the uh, Murrumbidgee PHN are uh, recognising uh, people who have done exceptional work, uh, serving their community, keeping them safe. Uh, congratulations and well done. I'll now hand over to MPHN Board Chair, Dr Jody Colbert, for her welcome address. Our Primary Healthcare Awards recognise the valuable and significant work being undertaken by health professionals, organisation and communities to improve health outcomes across the region. This year we have four award categories and overall we had a total of 28 nominations, all of whom were deserving in their own right. It's clear there are many people organisations and communities who are dedicated to improving health in our region. In my role as a general practitioner, I've seen daily examples of how my colleagues, other health professionals and organisations are implementing meaningful strategies to improve health outcomes for their patients, often going above and beyond what is required. Amidst the uncertainty and rapidly changing work environment that we've had to deal with this year, the whole health sector has demonstrated incredible flexibility and real collegiality in working together. Thank you to all the applicants for making time to nominate and I applaud you for your hard work and dedication to improving the health of people in our region. I'm pleased to welcome Board Director Kristen Mann to present the award for Murrumbidgee Community Grant of the Year. The Murrumbidgee Community Grant of the Year recognises excellence in developing and delivering an activity or event to support the mental health and well-being of drought affected communities and was funded by either a community grant or youth community grant. The first finalist is Art Relief. The Art Relief program was developed by Moulamine based artist Narelle Witham under the auspice of Southwest Arts to provide rural art workshops for farming communities impacted by drought. Since inception, 110 face-to-face -face workshops have now been delivered to more than 400 people, as well as 11 online workshops. The Art Relief social media pages have also become a hub for positive support, motivation, networking, connection, and fun. The second finalist is LHAC Chats Daniloquin. The Daniloquin Local Health Advisory Committee has made it a priority to actively work on disseminating information to the community around health services and programs. The committee began by running profiles of services on its Facebook page with an overwhelmingly positive response. To reach more of the local community, the project then expanded under the name LHAC Chats with nine full page advertisements running in the pastoral times, providing important health information for the community. The campaign has significantly increased community awareness of services and how to access them, with anecdotal evidence suggesting an increased uptake of referrals to some of the services, including mental health supports. Congratulations to both finalists. And the winner of Murrumbidgee Community Grant of the Year is LHAC Chats Daniloquin. Congratulations to both of our finalists. Um, I just wanted to check in and see if Laureen was available to say a few words, please.
Marie. Can you hear me now? I've unmuted. Yes, we can hear you. Right. Okay, wonderful. So good afternoon from Denny Alec and thank you so much. Um, we, we're just so pleased to have been part of this process um, and really feel honoured going up against um, so many other wonderful community projects and, and being announced the winner. So thank you so much. Just wanted to thank um, the MPHN for the initiative and the funding that's allowed so many of the Alex across the region to do some wonderful community projects. And I love the idea that we can share our ideas and our resources. Um, I want to commend the MPHN for the ease of the application process and, and the level of support that truly um, empowered us to do these projects. And um, what is really exciting and talking to, to some of the other ALAC chairs is to see how these initial projects, like, like our ALAC chats, for example, is evolving to other projects through um, collaboration with other groups in our community. Um, we, what, what we've really treasured through this as well as our partnerships that have come about because of, of you know, funding a project like this with, um, in, in Daniloquin with our Daniloquin Mental Health Awareness Group. And it's been really wonderful to be able to collaborate with management across MLHD and NPHN in collating these pages. It really created an opportunity for us to get to know managers and the services and to work with them. Um, and, and of course, now that's opened up conversations for us to be able to take on further projects and initiatives and to be able to talk, uh, to be able to work on things that, that could be improved. Um, like the introduction said, our LF chat pages came, came about because of our um, introductions that we did, our profiles that we did, and that then led to um, nine full pages, mostly um, around mental health. Um, acute mental health, around recovery, around counselling services. And what we really wanted to highlight was um, who our local workers were and what the process looked like to get into these services and how to access these services. So um, that worked really well. And the other thing that happened then was because of COVID, we lost all our um, reading materials and waiting areas. So what we did is we made um, these posters into massive big posters and distributed them to all of the waiting areas in the GP practices and waiting areas within the hospital. We also managed to find an empty shop front and we put these Alec chat pages um, up for the community to be able to, to read when they were wandering the streets. Um, we really enjoyed the fact, um, and even today got a request for these Alec chat pages to be shared with other Alacs across the region and to be used. And, and, and that's what I think is wonderful about the collaboration around this. We're very excited that currently we're expanding this project into an online directory in collaboration with our council, um, specifically around health services. So thank you once again to the um, MPHN. Um, congratulations to all of the other winners um, and people that have nominated. And I just really wanna um, say a special thanks to our small team and in particular, the little committee that worked with me on putting all of this together, um, being Julie Mullins, Linda Barclay and Lynn Bond. Congratulations. Um, once again, thanks MPHN and um, thank you everybody for the opportunity. Thank you so much, Lorraine. Um, I'll now like to, I can see Carrie ann and Narelle are with us. Um, it was really lovely to see your reaction. You're the only um, people I can view on my screen. Um, so it was nice to see your reaction being announced as a finalist. So if you would like to say a few words, you, can, you have the time now. Thanks, Monica. Um, so uh, first of all, I'd like to just say congratulations to Lorraine and the team. Um, the work that they uh, put out is just amazing and really, really happy to see um, that small uh, team get the recognition that they absolutely deserve. They do a fantastic job, so congratulations. Um, it's a bit of an honour for us to be um, considered a finalist. Our, our little project became bigger than Ben-Hur, um, thanks to the efforts of Narelle, who really went out there and engaged not only with the community and running workshops herself, but also um, getting lots of other artists involved, even people from as far as away as Newcastle and um, from Geelong before COVID um, to come and help us. Um, and then also delivering um, uh, workshops online um, 
uh, during and post COVID. So um, it's been it, it's been a, a big project, um, and uh, it's great to see so many hundreds of people across the region in our very very small and remote communities have access to um, free workshops, which was the whole intent of this, is so that um, people could uh, gather. Um, join together and um, give them some relief during the period of intense drought. So it was it was really extraordinary um, to see the outcomes and to see the uh, network of people that developed um, not only to come to the workshop but to um, uh, as an ongoing uh, community support network for each other. So that's been a really huge plus from from the program. Um, really want to say a big thank you to Murrumbidgee GPHN and to Echo Lorraine's um, uh, words around making the application process so simple um, and for the support from Murrumbidgee GPHN um, has been absolutely incredible right throughout this process. So you've made things very easy um, and uh, it, it's just been a delight to work with you all. Um, Congratulations to everybody else who um, has nominated and um, to the winners of all the other categories. We've been online um, every day, um, having a look at what's been going on because it's been pretty pretty interesting to see. And uh, it's great to see that um, our region has had um, now uh, three nominations and two winners. So we're pretty excited um, by what happened um, in our little neck of the world. So um, congratulations to everybody again, and um, yeah, good on you, Lorraine. Great job, and um, uh, mm -hmm. thanks again, Mara Beauty HN. I just want to um, hand over to Narelle. I'd just like to say something. Uh, hi everyone. Um, again, Lorraine, well done. I think it's great what you're doing with with the L hacking, Jenny. It's been great. I've been following it on Facebook. I'd like to thank everybody else that was nominated for awards and. Um, wasn't really expecting to be nominated because we're in the art sector, not the medical sector. So um, that was a, threw me a little bit, uh, but just really happy with the engagement that I had in the community with um, art and mental wellness, which is sort of something that always go hand in hand in the project. So getting that out into all communities was, was to me the highlight of um, 2019. Unfortunately, COVID came to a bit of a crunch, but with the support of Carrie Ann, I learned how to use Zoom, and as we're doing Zoom now, it works for a lot of things on a lot of levels. Um, again, I want to congratulate everyone that was nominated, and like Carrie Ann said, I think she said it perfectly little towns can do big things. Um, well done again, Lorene, and that's all I've got to say. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you so much and thank you for both of you for your kind words about the application process. It was very important to us at the start to ensure the application for the grants was, was nice and simple. So I'm glad that you have found that. Um, okay, there's just one last video to play to wrap things up. This now concludes our virtual presentation of the 2020 Murrumbidgee Primary Healthcare Awards. Thank you again to all of our applicants, finalists and winners and to everyone who has joined us today. Please join us at the same time and place tomorrow for the announcement of the outstanding contribution to leadership in primary health care. Thank you everyone. Hopefully to see you tomorrow. Bye.